boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about these things in your mouth called teeth. We're talking about um, community helpers, and one of the most important are doctors and dentists. Have you ever been to the dentist? I go two times every year. Every six months you go and have a checkup. So we are going to talk about your teeth and how to take care of them today. So first we're going to look at this. Do you see this picture? Oh my goodness. It says too much toothpaste. When should you stop squeezing the toothpaste tube? Do you put the toothpaste on your toothbrush or does mom or dad help you? Let's see what they say. The truth about teeth. So this information came from a dentist, and a dentist is a doctor for your teeth and your mouth. A dentist told all these kids, let's see. Oh no, something's wrong with that tooth, boys and girls. It has a big hole in the middle. That's called a cavity. A cavity is a little hole in your tooth, and that happens when sugar stays on your teeth for a long time. The sugar bugs come and they eat a hole in your tooth, so we don't want that to happen. The germs in your mouth eat the sugar, and then they make acid, and that eats away at your tooth. So how do we keep our teeth from having holes in them? Oh, no sugar bugs. A dentist can fix the cavities. They clean out the germs, and they put a filling in the hole that's the same color, and you don't even see it but it would be better to not have any cavities. So that means you have to keep your teeth clean. So let's see. This kid looks surprised. Do you know why? He just lost a tooth. Oh my goodness. When you're five or six, you start to get your permanent teeth. So when you're a baby, you have baby teeth that come in. And that's what most of you have in your mouth right now our baby teeth. And that doesn't mean you're a baby, it just means that they grew in your mouth when you were a baby. But when you get older, if you look very closely at this picture, these are baby teeth, but this is an x-ray of a mouth and you can see the big teeth, the grown-up teeth, the permanent forever teeth. They're starting to push through, and I know some of you may have already lost a tooth and have some grown-up teeth coming in. So, this kiddo lost one of his baby teeth, and his grown-up tooth is coming for the rest of his life, and it pushed out the baby tooth. And sometimes those baby tooth teeth, they start to get wiggly, and that means that the big tooth is on its way through. So the faster they come out when they start to get wiggly, the better, because a dentist told this kiddo, if they stay in your mouth for too long, then the germs can get trapped under your baby tooth and start getting those cavities on your big tooth before it even comes out. So once it gets loose, you gotta have clean hands or use your tongue and you can wiggle them out. But some of you don't have to worry about that yet, but all of us have to brush our teeth. We brush our teeth. We need toothpaste, we need a toothbrush, and we need floss. So, you don't need a huge glob of toothpaste. Remember the front? Oh my goodness, they're making a huge mess. We just need a little bit of toothpaste, just like a pea that you eat for lunch or dinner. So, I have a toothbrush, and I have toothpaste, and we are going to put on just enough. That's it. That's all you need for your teeth. That's all. No. Nope. All right. So the dentist likes when we use fluoride in our toothpaste because fluoride can help keep those cavities away. And it takes two minutes to brush your teeth. So you have to have patience and you have to go all across the top and then do all across the top on the inside of your mouth and all across the bottom and then all across the bottom on the inside of your mouth too. So do you remember that picture we looked at with the grown up teeth pushing out the baby teeth? This kid is at the dentist getting x-rays. So that's the picture of inside of your mouth 
And those baby teeth, if you looked at that kid's mouth, you wouldn't be able to see the grown-up teeth pushing them out. They're hiding inside the gums. But the x-ray can show the dentist, and then you can see where they are. What is this girl eating? Ooh, she's eating an apple. Crunchy fruits like apples and pears can help clean your teeth because when you chew, your mouth makes saliva. And that's a silly word. It just means the spit inside your mouth. Saliva washes away those sugar bugs and all those germs from your teeth. And then when you're done eating, it's really important to drink water, just like we always have water at snack at preschool. After any time you eat, you should always drink water because that'll wash away those sugar bugs. So the last thing in your mouth should be water. All right. So here is a picture of when you lose a tooth. So here's that baby tooth. And the big tooth is gonna start to push it up. And did you know that teeth have roots, just like a tree, but that's what keeps it in your mouth. So the roots start to disappear and it starts to get wiggly as that permanent tooth, that forever tooth starts to push it up. And then when that baby tooth falls out, the permanent tooth takes its place and it grows nice, big, strong roots to last your whole life. So boys and girls, here is a picture of a kiddo. Looks like she lost some of her baby teeth. She's going to patiently wait for her big teeth to come in. Looks like her teeth look nice and clean. She's taking good care of them. Maybe she uses floss between her teeth. And we do that before we brush. I'm gonna show you in a minute how to do that. And that will clean, because your toothbrush cleans the surface, the front part, but it doesn't reach between your teeth. So that's why we have to use floss. Oh no, this person did not do a good job. That is a big cavity in the back of their mouth, big hole. Those sugar bugs stayed in there and oh my goodness, the germs ate a hole in their tooth. And you know what, that can hurt. So we need to make sure we keep our teeth really clean. Otherwise, when you're a grown up, you might not have any teeth left. Oh my, we don't want that to happen. All right, boys and girls, remember how we put a little bit of toothpaste on our toothbrush. And we can floss our teeth. There's two different ways. You might have this at your house. I love using this kind of flosser. It makes it a little bit easier. Or maybe you have some of this and you pull it out. Woo, it's like a big string and it has its own little spot to cut it off. And I bet this is a mommy daddy job. You wrap it around your fingers and you open wide and this will go between your teeth. So look, oh, I have free teeth. teeth, isn't that silly? So the floss would go between your teeth all the way up to your gums because we need to keep them strong too, all of your teeth. Or you can use one of these flossers and put it between every tooth all the way to your gums. And when you're done, you're gonna rinse, rinse, rinse and spit out all the yucky stuff that comes out. And then you're gonna use your toothbrush with that little bit of toothpaste and you're gonna wash all across, scrub, 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 all your teeth, all the way to the back. Sometimes it's hard to reach. And you can count all the way to 30. And then you're gonna open your mouth wide. Oh my goodness, can you open your mouth that big? I can't. And you're gonna do the same thing on the inside. Scrub, 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 all those teeth, count to 30. And then you're gonna do the bottom, all the way across, and count to 30. And then go to the inside, all the way across until your teeth are clean and don't forget the tops because those are kind of like big valleys and that's where the sugar bugs like to hide is between your teeth. That's why we flossed and inside those cracks on top. So you gotta make sure you get out all the food. All right, boys and girls, in your class, your teacher is gonna have some of these pink circles. They look like medicine, but they're not. These, you chew it up and spit it out and it's gonna stick on your teeth where you have any germs or sugar bugs hiding. So if you didn't do a good job brushing your teeth this morning, 
This might tell us, uh-oh, you gotta find that spot a little bit better. But don't worry, everybody always has a little bit of spots, so don't get too embarrassed. So your teacher will decide who's gonna chew one of these, and you're gonna chew it up, rinse it around, and spit, and then you'll be able to see all those spaces where you gotta scrub those teeth a little bit harder. And then you just rinse your mouth out with water. Remember, water is the last thing we want in your mouth. And that will make sure that you stay sparkly clean so you don't get those nasty cavities. We don't want any of those sugar bugs chewing through your teeth. We want your teeth in your mouth to chew your food. All right, boys and girls, I hope you go to the dentist. And if you haven't, now's a good time to say, hey, mom and dad, I need to go to the dentist to make sure the sugar bugs aren't eating my teeth because I need my teeth to eat my food. Have a fun day.